guys, Joe for One Up Reviews, and today we've got a look at the Air Jordan 5 Off White collaboration in Cell Colorway. Before we get into the review, guys, if you are new to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Let's get started. So, off the bat, we can start with a box. As you can see, it is an Air Jordan box, but with the clear plastic windows there it makes it look like a block of Swiss cheese and this is the latest rendition of the off-white Nike collaborations that Virgil has done with Nike in February the, there was the grey Edge on the 5 off-white collab that came out it's similar silhouette in regards to the materials the blocking and all the little bells and whistles or lack of but before we get into the unboxing, let me show you what the specifics are. So we've got this Air Jordan 5 Retro SB in Cell Fire Red in a US size 8. It's a European 41 and it's a UK size 7. And let's pop this open. And I just want to mention you got this really dope clear wrapping paper with the branding and the off-white uh, logos there. And here it is, the main event. Why you're all here to watch this video. This. Right off the back as well. Like this is really light in comparison to other Edge of the, like the original Edge of the 5 model. That being the materials are so different, obviously. And I start with the outsole. And the outsole is an all rubber translucent yellow outsole make well that makes up the majority that you can find in the fourth front and on the heel and you got the Air Jordan logo Jumpman and the Nike at the middle where you've got the hits of translucent grey right in the middle and it is there at the very toes going up along the midsole so you got polyurethane midsole encompassed in the ever so famous air bubble there that you will always find in the Nair Jordan 5 and here we go into the, like, the main differences that you can find. This silhouette is modelled after the Air Jordan 5 in fire red but in this case it's all aged yellow and I think that's a really nice touch from Virgil to add you know how you usually get a clear blue outsole and after wear it will be yellow and that's what you get like the OG heads they don't want to see their pairs getting yellow that just shows the longevity that has been worn for so long and it's really I think it's a nice touch that it's been added to the upper the upper levers as well as the midsole that you can find here and you know what, let's just get into the materials. So the majority of this sneaker is all textile. You got bits that are encompassed in plastic. You can find that in the heel and at the mud guards there. And in typical Air Jordan 5 fashion, you've got a reflective tongue. In this case, you have the yellowing or the yellowed lace locks there for the laces going towards the lacing it's the typical Air Jordan 5 lacing system we're going to go into the, like the little bit of details that Virgil has incorporated as I mentioned the materials are so different you usually get an Air Jordan 5 in leather this is all man-made textile materials hence why it's rather light and what you've got here are like the hole punches now I've seen people customize these well with the first Edge Jordan 5 off white. They literally punched the hole right there. And you can also find the holes on the metal and lateral side at the ankle support. And what a really nice touch is right there in the tongue. So a nice hole punch and what I think is a really nice detail that they've incorporated is that the Air Jordan tab that's inside the tongue is punched out so you can't really see 
it's, done, it's not finished saying Air Jordan. Going on to the laces, you've got the nice off-white shoelaces print on it at the very ends near the aglets. The lace lock or the zip lock, sorry, is in the same fashion, the nice aged yellow. And if you don't like the colours of the laces, if you don't like this off-white, off-white laces, see what I did there, you can always change it black and red. And as always, like all Air Jordan, well Nike, Virgil, Abloh collabs, you have the Air Jordan text or the text of the sneaker, what model, what silhouette it is. It's incorporated right there on the middle side and it's got the address of Nike in Beaverton, Oregon. And just before we round it off, if you look in the ins inner, you've got the exposed foam making the ankle support and the tongue, a sock liner inner as well, that's mostly foam and the Nike Air branding that's in the insole it's a typical Air Jordan 5 insole not much difference no like off-white logos in there or anything but the main off-whites are the Ziploc and obviously it's got that nice feel of Virgil that DIY deconstructed look this is like probably the most hype Air Jordan 5 to come out this year. Unfortunately, Air Jordan 5 in fire red didn't garner such hits. The first drop though of the Air Jordan 5 off-white in grey, I I thought that it was gonna be unpopular, but boy was I wrong, they sold out. And I'm very sure that if you're lucky enough to get a pair, well, you should count yourself lucky, as I mentioned, because I can see these going for a lot on the resale market. I can't wait to try these on. It's going to be my first time trying on a pair of Off-White Air Jordans. I wish I had a pair of the Air Jordan 1s in the Off-White collab, you know, the Chicago colorway, but I was unable to. We are lucky to, enough to get a pair. This was kindly, kindly borrowed by MJ. So MJ, if you're watching this, thank you very much. So that's why I'm not gonna take off any laces because it's not mine. And I'll tell you about the sizing because I usually get a UK 7.5 when it comes to Air Jordans. So I'm gonna try this in a half size smaller because we've got these Air Jordan 5s in a UK 7. Let's try them on. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend you, or if you're lucky enough to get your true to size Air Jordan fit, get it. I find that these are really tight. Obviously me being a UK size 7.5 and these being a UK 7, these feel a bit tight on my feet. But if I give it a couple of wears, it will break in. Now I can feel the nice Air Max support, the air bubble right there. It feels nice cushioning on my heel. And I do love the little details that you'll get reminiscent of all the Air Jordan 5s, the 23, the Nike Air at the back. And personally, I'll take this zip lock out, but as I mentioned, these are not my sneakers. I'm only trying them on. And hopefully MJ loves them. <laughs> um, that is 
our friend MJ, not Michael Jordan, because I know Michael Jordan loves these. He's making money. Thanks guys for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe, follow us at One Reviews with a Z at the end on Instagram. Until next time, peace.